Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do money. Let's revisit. Add and write the saving of RN per day in the table given below. On Monday, 10 plus 5 means he has saved 15 rupees on Monday. Like this, we'll count the money and write here. And answer the given question. Clear? Next, writing rupees and pesa. The amount of money can be written in two ways. Two ways mein kaise likh sakte hai? In rupees and pesa. Note, if pesa is less than 10, agar 10 se kam hai, we'll write a zero after the dot. So, here, We'll write the zero after the dot. Agar 10 se kam hai, so point zero and then whatever pesa is there, we'll write. And decimal se pehle, dot se pehle, we'll write the rupees. Clear? In words and in figures. Suppose you have a 10 rupee note and one 5 rupee coin and one 50 pesa coin. The money can be written as 15 rupees 50 pesa 10 rupees plus 5 rupees total 15 rupees and 150 pesa coin so you will write it as 15 rupees 50 pesa in words and in figures you will write rupees 15.50 so the number before decimal means decimal ke jo left mein hai that is rupees and after the decimal that is pesa clear next is conversion of rupees and pesa Convert 450 pesa into rupees. So here we have to convert the pesa into rupees. As we know, 100 pesa that is equals to 1 rupees. So we'll divide it by 100. 100 se divide karenge. So the digit at once and tens place. That will become the pesa and rest will be rupees. So 4 rupees 50 pesa or we can write rupees 4.50. Clear? Remember. Now, the smallest denomination of the coins in circulation is only 50 pesa. Smallest jo abhi chal raha hai, that is 50 pesa. 25 pesa, 10 pesa, 5 pesa is not actually in use nowadays. Clear? Next is practice corner 10.1. Complete the table. Amount is in pesa, 220 pesa. In rupees, we'll write rupees 2.20. So, we can write it 2 rupees 20 pesa. P -A -I -S -A, P-A-I-S-A, pesa. Clear? So you have to practice all these questions. We'll move to next topic. Next is social emotional learning. Visit the stationery shop and ask to see the following item. Note down their MRP means maximum retail price. Just maximum price pe cheese ko sale kiya jata hai, that is called its MRP. So here some objects are given here. You can go to any stationery shop in your nearby and find out their prices and write here clear next is handling money addition of money we have to add rupees 61.45 and rupees 135.65 so we'll make two column this is of rupees and this is of pesa we'll separate it by decimal or dot We'll always write pesa below pesa and rupees below rupees. Or we can write like this. 61.45 and we have to add 135.65. Clear? Pesa ke niche pesa like that. Rupees ke niche rupees. And ones ke niche ones, tens ke niche tens and like this. So start from the pesa. 5 plus 5 that is 10, 0, 1 carry over. 6 plus 4, 10 and 1, 11, 1. 1 carry over, put the decimal here. 5 plus 1, 6 and 1, 7. 6 plus 3, 9 and 1. So, 
the answer is rupees 197.10 clear so steps kya honge write in columns such that the dots are exactly one below the other add the paisa first and then the rupees regroup if required next is subtraction of money subtract rupees 93.05 from rupees 140.50 so start subtracting for paisa so 10 and 4 10 minus 5 5 4 minus 0 4 then put the decimal 10 and 3 10 minus 3 that is 7 it become 13 13 minus 9 that is 4 so answer is rupees 47.45 clear so steps are write in column such that the dots are exactly one below the other dots ke niche hamesha dot aana chahiye subtract the paisa first and then the rupees regroup if required next is practice corner 10.2 add the following here we have to add 12 rupees 25 paisa and 20 rupees 25 paisa start from paisa 5 5 10 0 One carry over two, two, four, and one five. Put decimal here. Two plus zero, two, two, one, three. So total is thirty-two rupees fifty paisa. Clear? So you have to practice all the question of this exercise. Next is multiplication and division of money. Multiplication of money. We'll take an example. Multiply rupees fifteen by three. So fifteen rupees means zero zero paisa. Step one. Multiply fifteen by three as you normally do. जैसे आप normally करते हैं and आगे में rupees लिख देना है. So five three is a fifteen. Right five here one carry over. Three one is a three and one four. So rupees forty five. That is our answer. Put the dot before the second digit from the right. Clear? राइट एंड साइड से सेकेंड डिजिट के बाद हम डॉट लगाएंगे सो आंसर इज फोर्टी फाइव रुपीज क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज डिविजन ऑफ मनी डिवाइड रुपी फोर्टी बाय फाइव सो स्टेप्स आर डिवाइड द फिगर ऑफ रुपीज कॉलम फर्स्ट बाय फाइव फाइव इंटू एट दैट इज फोर्टी सब्टेक्ट द फोर्टी फ्रॉम फोर्टी विल गेट जीरो एज अ रिमाइंडर सो रुपीज फोर्टी डिवाइड बाई फाइव दैट इज इक्व रुपीज एट सो हेयर वी हैव टू डिवाइड फोर्टी रुपीज बाय फाइव फाइव एट जो फोर्टी राइट एट ईयर एंड फोर्टी लिखेंगे सब ट्रैक करेंगे गेट जीरो सो आंसर इज रुपीज एट क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज प्रैक्टिस कॉलर टेन पॉइंट थ्री मल्टीप्लाई द फॉलोइंग सो ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज एटीन पैसा मल्टीप्लाई बाय नाइन नाइन एट जो सेवेंटी टू राइट टू सेवन कैरी ओवर नाइन वन जो नाइन एंड सेवन सिक्सटीन Six year, one carry over. Put decimal here. Nine four is a thirty-six at one thirty-seven seven three carry over. Nine two is a eighteen. And three twenty-one. So answer is rupees two hundred seventeen point six two. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is word problems. Piyush bought a ruler for rupees two point five zero and an eraser for rupees one point five zero. He gave ten rupee note to the shopkeeper. How much money he got back? So total he has ten rupees and how much money he has spent? First we'll find out that. So cost of ruler that is two point five zero and cost of eraser that is one point five zero. दोनों को add किया. So that is the total money he has spent. That is rupees four. And total he gave ten rupees note. So the money he got back ten minus four that is six rupees. So he get back six rupees. Clear? Next is social emotional learning. Sakshi decide to make a fruit punch for the party. Work out for total cost of the punch. First two bottles of orange juice at rupees one ninety five each. Cost of one bottle is ninety five for two. Ninety-five into two. So total cost will be rupees one ninety. Like this, you will count the cost for 
each item and total them clear next is practice corner 10.4 Solve the following sums. Manan bought a cello tape for rupees 6 and some pictures books for rupees 16.90. How much money did she spend? Here, cello tape ki cost is 6 rupees and the cost of picture book is 16.90. So, how much money he spent? So, total money we have to find out. So, we'll add the cost of two items. So, total cost is rupees 22.90. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is problem solving skills. Listed below are the rate of the entrance ticket at the North Pole School Fed. Open at 25th and 26th December between 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. So, here the cost of the ticket for different people like for adult it is 75 rupees, senior citizen it is 50 rupees, for student 30 rupees and for the children under 4 it is free. Use the prices list, work out the cost of these visits at Finn. 2 adults, so for 1 adult it costs 75, so for 2 rupees 75 into 2. So, that is equals to rupees 150. Like this, you can find out the cost for whatever is given to you and fill that table. Clear? Next, making bills. When you buy something, the shopkeeper give you a list. That is called bill. Jabi you market jate ho, you buy something, the shopkeeper give you a bill that mention the whatever thing you have bought and their prices clear a bill is very important for buying and selling for example Deepika and her friends went to the food corner and bought two cheese sandwiches for rupees 12.50 each means one sandwich ki cost that was rupees 12.50 two pizzas for rupees 125 each and four pastries for rupees 35 each Prepare the bill for the Deepika and find out how much they spend in all. So, here this is a bill. Here the name of customer is written here. Date and bill number. Cheese sandwich 2. Price 12.50 for 1. So, total for 2 that is 25. Pizza 2 pizza ke ho 250. For 4 pastry it cost 140 rupees. So, total bill is rupees 415. So, Deepika pays a total of rupees 415 for all the item she bought. So, this is the bill of the item she bought. Next is practice corner 10.5. Priya went to toy shop. She bought two cars for 15 rupees each, three pencil boxes for 10.50 each. 1 doll for rupees 55, 3 balls for rupees 3 each. Prepare the bill for the Priya's item. Here is the serial number, number of item 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, items kya kya hai? Cars, pencil box. doll and balls rate per item car rupees 15 pencil boxes rupees 10.50 doll rupees 55 and balls rupees 3 this is the rate of item, matlab, one item ki hai, rate per item. Now, he bought total two cars. So, one car cost 15 rupees for two cars, it's 30 rupees and 00 paisa. 
पेंसिल बॉक्स थ्री पेंसिल बॉक्स वन पेंसिल बॉक्स कॉस्ट टेन रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा फॉर थ्री टेन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो इंटू थ्री दैट इज थर्टी वन रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा वन टॉल कॉस्ट फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज वन है सो इट्स फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन बॉल कॉस्ट थ्री रुपीज सो टोटल थ्री बॉल का क्या हो जाएगा थ्री इंटू थ्री दैट इज नाइन रुपीज सो टोटल कर देंगे जीरो फाइव टोटल कॉस्ट हो जाएगी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज लाइफ स्किल्स These are the bills of store. Check and correct them if there is any mistake. So this is bill given here. The items are given their quantity and price. Like toffees quantity five. One rupees one for puppies. So for five it will cost five rupees. So this is wrong. Like this you will check the amount is right or not. Clear? Next is the four C's core learning skills. Dhruv and Pari went to shop. Read what each of them bought, then make their bills with the help of the price list. So here the price list is given. The cost of ball eight rupees each. Toy car sixty five rupees. Teddy bear seventy rupees like this. The price is given for different objects or items. Dhruv and Pari bought three balls, toy cars, one teddy bear, four color pens, and three balloons. So here you have to write the serial number, the item they bought, their quantity, and price. So total price here per item price you have to write, and here you have to multiply with the quantity and write the total price and make the grand total. So this activity you have to do by yourself. Next, multiple choice question. Tick the correct option. How many fifty paisa coin make rupees five? So as you know, two fifty paisa coin make one rupees. One rupees me two hote hain. So in five rupees, ten. Ten fifty paisa coin make five rupees. Clear? So here we end the chapter I hope you understand it well now you have to practice it